This is my uh, 40 meter QRP beacon. It's mostly based on uh, Lee Sarf's circuitry. It's based on Wes Hayward's uh, circuitry in the beginning of experimental methods and uh, RF circuit design. Uh, we've got a Colpitz oscillator right here with a 7.2 megahertz crystal. That was what avail was av easily available from DigiKey. That feeds a uh, uh, common emitter uh, buffer right here, which is transformer coupled at the collector over to Class C stage, and then. Uh, Class C is uh, this uh, single LC matching. Uh, I'm able to get 27 dBm out of this thing, uh, CW, at uh, about 12 volts of uh, bias. And I've uh, verified that on the power meter. So it's overall it's running about uh, 40, 40 to 48 percent efficiency. It's 120 milliamps uh, total current draw at 12 volts. And uh, of course, 27 dBm output. Uh, so what I've done to turn it into a beacon. Uh, I've taken add this AT Mega 328 right here, and uh, again dead bugged, and uh, it's running out its internal 8 megahertz oscillator. So uh, I've got a 7805 regulator to take that 12 volts, knock it down to the 5. This thing's hardly drawing any current. Here's the uh, the uh, debug port on it. But uh, to uh, generate the CW, I just have a totem totem pole uh, uh, PNP and NPN. So I can switch the, the all the drain all the collectors on the um, uh, transistors using just the five volts from the uh, one of the uh, uh, data ports on this thing. I've got this LED on there also to to see when it's transmitting. Uh, now what this does, in addition to transmitting CW code, is it has uh, several uh, stages of degeneration in the emitter on the buffer. So what I can do is I've got a, a, a four-bit control on this thing, so I can go full power, 27 dBm, or I can kick in several different resistors, and I've uh, tuned the resistor values so they go in 6 dB steps, or 1 S unit. So uh, I start off with 0, which is 20, 0, my reference, 27 dBm, and I kick it down 6 dB, and I kick it down 12 dB, and I kick it down 24 dB, so it would go 1, 2, and 4 S units. Uh -huh. And right now I've just got a piece of wire hanging off of the thing, which is tied up there on my power meter. And uh, it also goes uh, through a 20 dB attenuator, and you can see it going over in my spectrum analyzer. You can see right there at 7.2 megahertz. We're at full power right now, which is, uh, it's actually a little bit 26 because I'm running off the of batteries. So we drop down a little bit right now, and you can see it drop down uh, all the way. What it's doing is transmitting my uh, call sign KD4HSO QRP beacon, and I transmit 27 dBm, uh, 21, uh, was it 14 and 3, I think? There is a minus 14, I have to look it up. You can see the, uh, see the uh, uh, waveforms at the output right here in the scope also. The C code was just uh, quickly done up in uh, at Mel Studio 6. And uh, all I do is have a couple of routines to generate a dit and a da using the proper uh, timings. And then I just have this uh, 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 switch structure right here which looks through each uh, letter and generates a proper dit and da sequence. And I'll go and I'll loop through that. I'll do it once for the 27 dBm and then I'll drop it down to 21, 15, and uh, 3 dBm. And this is it being received right there on my rig. It changes a little bit in frequency because as the uh, degeneration uh, kicks in, actually as the degeneration increases, the uh, uh, impedance looking into that buffer increases so the frequency changes a little bit on the coal pits. I don't think it's changing more than about 10 hertz. Anyway, uh, see you later.